For this first lap, you're required to do two different things. The first one would be to go to scene hierarchy and change the position of six of these targets. The targets that you have to change are the ones that belong to the cuboid 2 and cuboid 3. So they would be, you would have to change drop blue 2, drop blue 3, drop green 2, drop green 3, which are the drop positions the target for positions for the dropping on each side, and then you will have to change pig blue cube 2, pig blue cube 3, pig green cube 2, and pig green cube 3, which correspond to these four blocks that you see in here. Afterwards, what you would have to do is add the code so the robot actually moves to pick them up. So you had to go to the left arm first, and then around the line 500 or so, you would see this area over here where it says your code. So you have to put four more instructions to be able to pick the other two cubes. Uh, you would have to do the same thing for the right arm. So you would have to go the same way. See the script? The script is almost the same. The only thing that changes is the variables that have the targets because this one have the green targets and the left one has the blue targets. So it would be the same thing here. You would have to add the four extra instructions that would let you complete the assignment. To play the assignment, you would only have to hit play. In here, you have a monitor. And if by any chance you assign a position to the target that the robot can't reach or that will make the robot not be able to pick up the object, it will tell you right here that you're doing something wrong and in which axis you're making the mistake. The object and the axis that you're making the mistake with. So remember that at any point you can pause the simulation and check for the values of the all the objects in the scene so you can see all the x y z values in all the scene what we would recommend for this assignment is to stop at each time that the robot drops both of the cubes because then you can take the height for the next drop So in here, for example, I could I could pause and see the coordinates for this cube that would let me know where I should drop the next one. You can continue. For this assignment, you have to record the simulation. So what you will have to do is go in the left bar there's this symbol over here for recording, for video. So what you would have to do is hit record now whenever you're ready to record. Uh, here you can change where the video will be saved. Um, so what you would have to do basically is hit record now and then just hit play for your simulation. And it'll record your simulation.